Hey y'all, King 77 here again, here with my Samsung Epic 4G Touch, here to do a review of the Blazer ROM. So, definitely a nice ROM. I'm very excited to try out this ROM. Should be great. Phantom Hacker does great work. But otherwise, let's go ahead and hop into the review. As you can see, it comes with TouchWiz Launcher, a theme TouchWiz Launcher, just an overall UI theme. Uh, I believe you use over Stu's ice cream sandwich theme implemented into this ROM, which is my favorite theme by far. Uh, ACS member over Stu did a great job with that theme. Definitely a uh, very nice job with this theme. So I'm very excited for this ROM. As you can see, uh, it's got the ice cream sandwich background. It's the live wallpaper background, except it's still, it's not the live wallpaper itself, but it's definitely a very, it's definitely my favorite ice cream sandwich wallpaper is the live, the stock live wallpaper, but this is very cool. The colors are great. I love this background. Enough about the background anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and check up at the status bar. Check it on out. As you can see right up there, you've got a nice blue battery icon that's got the battery percentage modification right there. So let you know what it's at. As you can see, mine's only at 20%. Uh, four signal bars just looks themed exactly like ice cream sandwich. Go ahead and swipe down. Nice blue and black notification bar theme. As you can see, the buttons light up blue when you do select them. Start out white, turn blue once you select them. I'm going to go ahead and clear that. Sorry about that. Anyways, you've got uh, just a tr nice transparent black tra tinted transparent notification bar. You see through it, as you can see, a nice black bar at the bottom with a nice blue circle in the middle. So just an overall really clean, really nice theme. Definitely looks great. You got themed icons, ice cream sandwich themed icons. So very nice. As you can see, calendars themed, messaging, contacts, phone, even the app drawer button and home button are themed to look just like ice cream sandwich launcher. So overall, a really great theme to this ROM. The ROM, ROM seems very smooth. I'm sure it is. It's got lag fixer, lag fixers, lag fixes. Uh, it's DX. It's uh, basically deep bloated. You're not going to have much bloatware to it. Uh, also, it's got no CIQ. Oh yeah. So that's a huge thing to look at when choosing a ROM. So no CIQ. I believe it has the ice cream sandwich clock. So I'm going to go to widgets and check out and see if it has the ice cream sandwich clock. There it is, right there. So check that out, very cool, ice cream sandwich clock. So there's a nice little addition to this ROM. I believe it has the ice cream sandwich keyboard as well. So check that out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select input method and go back and go to my, to, I guess I'll show you guys, go to settings, language and keyboard, and I check ice cream sandwich keyboard, hit okay. So there you go, select input method, ICS keyboard. Good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my messaging and um, see if it pops up. Looks like it's not, so I am maybe a little bug were there with the ice cream sandwich keyboard. Regardless, you can actually get it from the market. I do have a video on that, so I'll link that in the description of this video in case you're interested in getting the ice cream sandwich keyboard. So sorry about that. I'm sure he'll post a fix very soon, no big deal. But as you can see, the messaging app is themed as well. Very cool. Definitely one of my favorite things about uh, themes or ROMs is when the messaging app is themed. I don't know why. I just really like it. I guess it's because it's probably the thing I use most. It's text messaging with my phone, so... Definitely something I like. A nice theme dialer as well. Definitely something you need to check out. As you can see, ice cream sandwich theme dialer. Awesome. Definitely really cool. So there's another nice feature to ha that this ROM does have. It's got the, as you can see, it doesn't have 3G or um, 3G's icons not showing up. Just because my number's not on my phone right now. As I said in my previous how-to video that I'm on my Evo right now, but I will switch over tonight actually. I'm excited to try out this ROM. Everything feels smooth and snappy. Definitely excited to try it out. Um, no overscroll glow. He actually likes having the bounce there. It's definitely a nice mix up if you like to switch it off between the bounce and the overscroll glow. Very cool. I don't know if it has CRT screen off animation or not. It does. So, in case you like that, um, no lock screen options. You just got your, your stock Galaxy S2 lock screen option, which is fine with me since no matter how many options I do have, my favorite is the Galaxy S2 lock screen. So, it's no big deal for me. Uh, but other than that, everything seems smooth, snappy. The theme is really, really great as well. I should have nice speed tweaks to it. It's got the Roboto font from Ice Cream Sandwich as well. I don't know if you guys can notice that, but definitely the font's a little different. Uh, other than that, RAM optimizations, reboot uh, options, so you can press hold the power button. You can go into recovery, reboot, power off. Airplane mode, silent mode, and your 
good to go. I believe the camera app's modified as well. So if I go to camera, I believe it's the pinch to zoom camera. So if I go like this, yeah, it is. So you pinch to zoom as opposed to volume buttons. Volume buttons is actually gonna take the picture itself. So if I press the volume button, oh, it doesn't. So uh, volume buttons zoom in and out as well. So you can pinch to zoom. I don't know if that's a stock feature or not, but otherwise uh, you can use the volume buttons and then just select it and take the picture with the button. There you go. So very nice. Uh, just the, that didn't seem very modified at all, but it, he said it is. I'm not sure what's modified since I can't, I'm not very familiar with the stock camera app just because I haven't been on stock that long. Other than that, um, as I said, great ROM. Definitely something to check out if you have an Epic 4G Touch. Definitely thank Phantom Hacker for this great ROM. The Blazer ROM, very nice. Blazing fast. If you do have any questions, let me know what you think of this ROM as well. Leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to hear from all of you guys and help you guys out if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe as well for future videos. And follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it.